Home prices have been shooting up like this thanks to the help of cheap mortgage rates. But now because interest rates are starting to rise, people are starting to worry about a potential housing market crash. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about what could potentially cause a housing market crash. So make sure you watch this video until the end. A housing market crash is one of the scariest things that can happen to an economy because we saw what happened back in 2008. When the housing market crashed, our entire economic and financial system was on the verge of collapse. The thing that makes real estate so unique is how big and how kind of interconnected it is with so many different industries. Because not only do you have homes, which for many Americans is the biggest purchase that you will ever make, but now you have the entire banking industry because the banking industry kind of banks off of people taking out mortgages to buy out homes. And then you have the insurance industry. And so you have this major kind of system that is built around the entire real estate industry. And so if real estate prices come down or if real estate prices crash, then the whole industry goes down with it. And that's why you can see kind of the whole financial system suffer if housing prices or real estate prices crash. The thing that you have to understand about real estate and every asset class for that matter is that real estate moves in cycles. There's times where home prices are booming and then you'll see times where home prices are cooling down. The 2008 real estate meltdown was an outlier because that wasn't just a crash. I mean, that was an all out real estate collapse. But at the same time, you really want to understand what's going on in the real estate and the housing market right now because we are in a very strange housing market. And so you want to make sure you're protected and you want to make sure you really understand what's going on that way you can make the best decisions with your money and that's what i'm going to be talking about in this video if you really want to understand what factors could cause a housing market crash there's three things that you need to understand first you got to understand where we were because that's going to help you understand how we got to where we are and that's going to help you understand number two where we are today you need to understand where we are in the housing market and the real estate market and that's going to help you understand number three where we are going so let's start with number one let's talk about what happened to get us where we are today so like i said just a second ago real estate is cyclical and after 2008 it wasn't just a normal cycle like this during the 2008 crash we really saw real estate just collapse like we have never seen happen before and so here was 2008 and in 2012 so we'll call this 2012 that was when real estate prices really bottomed so the 2008 crash started in 2008 and real estate prices bottomed out in 2012 and then from 2012 onwards between 2012 and 2019 we saw the real estate market start to improve we saw jobs start to come back the economy grew as more people got their jobs back, more people had incomes to go out and buy homes. So home ownership started to grow. We saw lending restrictions start to lax. And so more people were able to go out and get a loan so they could go out and buy a home. And so we started to see home ownership rise. We started to see more people buy homes and we saw home prices start to really go up. Then in 2019, something really interesting happened. 2019 was supposedly one of the strongest economies that the United States has ever seen. But at the same time, the Federal Reserve Bank in 2019, they came out and they started cutting interest rates. Now, typically, the Federal Reserve Bank only cuts interest rates when you are in a recession, in a slowing economy, because when you cut interest rates, it makes borrowing money cheaper. And when borrowing money becomes cheaper, more people go out and borrow money so they have more money to spend. So cutting interest rates is a way for you to stimulate the economy. And so it was kind of strange that in 2019, we started to see interest rates cut and the reason behind that was the government and the federal reserve bank was kind of concerned about the economy because it was growing but they were concerned that it wasn't growing as fast as they would have liked so they started cutting interest rates to kind of get that economy moving faster and so in 2019 we started to see mortgage rates fall which naturally made more people want to be homeowners so in 2019 we kind of saw this kind of dip and then jump back up because now mortgage rates started to be cut and so these lower interest rates made more people want to be homeowners and now we go into 2020 and as we all know in 2020 that's when the pandemic hit and the recession hit and for a little bit of time everything shut down people stopped buying real estate people stopped selling real estate everything was shut down but then a month after the pandemic came in, that's when the Federal Reserve Bank came in and they slashed interest rates to near zero. And as soon as that happened, so this is like mid 2020, now home ownership started booming because you had these kind of the early adopters that saw this and they were like, wow, you're telling me that I can go and get a 30 year mortgage for 3% interest. And so all these people started to go out and they started to buy homes. And at the same time, 
you didn't have a lot of homes available for sale. I mean, some people just didn't feel comfortable selling their homes because we were in the middle of a pandemic and they didn't want people walking through their properties. And so you had a small inventory of homes available for sale and you had a lot of people that wanted to buy homes and take advantage of these low interest rates. So now the home market started to boom. Then as housing prices started to go up, people were saying, wow, I don't want to miss out on this trend. And so more and more people started buying homes. You started to see some more people start to sell their homes. But even through 2020 and 2021, we had a very small supply of homes available for sale while we had a whole kind of tidal wave of people that wanted to be homeowners because people wanted to take advantage of these low interest rates. I mean, even at the time we were recording this video, interest rates were dirt cheap. And so going from 2020 to 2021, we saw the housing market essentially just shoot up from 2012 to 2021. It was a very great time for homeowners. I mean, if you bought a home around here, you saw home prices shoot up straight. So between 2012 and 2021, home prices just shot up thanks to the help of loosened lending restrictions. So it became easier to go out and get a mortgage and thanks to the help of cheaper mortgages because the Federal Reserve Bank started cutting interest rates in 2019. And then we saw it in 2020 get slashed even more to historic lows. And so we are seeing some of the lowest interest rates ever, which made it very enticing for people to go out and buy a home. So from 2012, 2021, we saw a booming housing market.